What's going on, family? It's your boy, JL the Genius. And today I'm going to show you how to create an affiliate campaign inside of Go High Level, also known as the Funnel Financials platform. All right. So when I walk through this with you guys today, before I do, I want to make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Make sure you like and share this video with two friends who you want to see dominate this online space. All right. So let's get to it. And before I begin, guys, make sure that when you're doing this process that you already have one created a product you have two created a funnel and then three you added that product into the funnel whatever product that you're trying to sell it needs to be already in a funnel before you start this process all right when you're ready to begin you're going to log into the platform you're going to go to the marketing section on the left side and then you want to go to affiliate manager at the top right Right. And once you get into here, it's going to look like this. I don't have anything here, really. So I'm just now getting started with this, just like you guys are. So you'll be able to join my affiliate crew pretty soon. Right. So on the top right, you want to click add and then you want to name your campaign. So let's say if I was creating a challenge snapshot and I wanted people to sell that, I will already have a funnel that is going to get sold under. And I would choose the funnel. And then this will be, this is going to be like the affiliate link. And then from here, you can just leave it as default commission because there's default and product based, but you can really leave it as default. Then you want to add your product, right? Whatever product they're going to be able to get commission on. You want to add that product and then you want to add a description, right? So this is a challenge snapshot. So now I added my description and you also need to add an affiliate. So you can, uh, I'll show you how to do that in a, uh, in a second, but first I'll just add me really quick. And then you uh, see here, it says payout frequency. So with the payout frequency, it's 15, 30 and 60. Most affiliate programs pay 30 days after the sale. So once you make that sell once they come in and make their sale you won't get paid for another 30 days that's how most programs usually work the commission type now you can do percentage commission or you can do a flat commission like a flat fee where it's the same rate every time uh, i'm going to go ahead and do a flat fee let's say 50 dollars email template this is the template that they're going to send out to an affiliate once they sign up with you Right. I don't like really using um, high level stuff. I like using my own email stuff. So we're going to we're going to create a custom email template to send out. Another thing is the cookie life. This is basically how long before a, another person can take your affiliate lead. So what does that mean? It means if I have an affiliate link and I send it to somebody, after this 45 days that I've set here, if they don't sign up within those 45 days, there there's a free for all, right? So anybody else can send them the link. And when they send them the link, if they're not locked into that 45 days, then that person would get the sale. The second person would get the sale. So this is the cookie life of how long it'll last with your affiliates. So once you set that up, you're going to click create campaign. It said, uh, what did it say? Flat fee is more than the product price. Do you want to change it? Uh, okay. So we'll just do a commission, right? So the flat fee was more than the product price. Here we go. All right. So now that I got that set up, the next thing I want to do is I want to, I'm going to do a couple things. First thing is I'm going to create a custom field and that's going to be my affiliate. So it's going to be my affiliate custom field and I already have one created. But if you don't, you can just click add field right here and you can add it just like just like that. And for me, since I have multiple affiliate products, um, when you actually click my button, it's going to bring up the multiple products here. Right. So I already have challenge template added because I added it right here. All right, so once I add it here, yours will be blank. You won't have these different products. These fields are going to be blank. And so you just put in whatever it is that you're um, 
you know, whatever your program is, and then you hit save. So I already got challenge template here, so I'm going to keep that there. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to go to the template section, email templates in the marketing tab, click templates. Find the email templates. So I had two created right here. So I just I created this challenge snapshot. And so what you would do when you get to this stage is you want to make sure that when it says, hey, don't put contact first name. All right. This is the new email builder. So um, the custom values are up here. All right. You don't want to put contact first name because then the name is not going to populate. You want to do everything from the affiliate manager custom uh, from the affiliate manager custom uh, field or custom value. And you want to do it from there where you can put the first name, last name, email, name of the campaign, the commission and their affiliate link. So I kind of got that stuff spread out and spread around within my email. So make sure you create your email so that way it looks good, matches your branding. And that is the email that's going to be sent out once somebody signs up to be an affiliate. So I want to save this template. Go back. All right. So now I got that template saved and set up. So what I want to do is while I'm here, I'm going to go back to my affiliate manager. And I'm going to edit that campaign. And instead of using the default template, I'll use the challenge affiliate template that I just created and then update. Also, in order to add affiliates, you just click here and put affiliates. And then you can just add an affiliate right here. So you can just say new affiliate, put in their name, email, and that's all that's mandatory is the name and email. And you click add affiliate. I'm going to cancel that right now. That's how you add your affiliates. So once you do that, the next thing you want to do is you want to go to your sites. And you want to go to forms, go to the builder. This is where you're going to create your affiliate sign up form. All right. So this is the sign up form that allows me to have the multiple affiliate links all in one form because I created a form and I just added the elements um, over here. You can just drag and drop and you, you'll add you add different elements. So uh, that's a whole another video on forms. If you don't know how to do forms, um, I'll create another video on that. All right. So that's creating your affiliate sign up form. And then once you got your form created, the uh, last thing you want to do is um, well, number one, you want to add it to your funnel. If you haven't added it to your funnel, make sure that you go to your funnels, whatever funnel it is. And then make sure let's say you have an affiliate page, right? So you have an affiliate page and now you go to the pop up and you might want to add the form on the pop up. So that way you hit the plus, you hit forms and then you select the drop down with an affiliate form and then that's how you add it on the pop up. So you want to make sure that that form is added so people can go fill it out and they can go sign up. Once they sign up to get all of this working, you want to make sure that we put them into an automation. So you're going to click on the automations tab. Click on affiliates. So affiliate onboarding. And then I'll, I'll make a copy of this because this is a different. Um, so this will be affiliate. Uh, challenge snapshot affiliate, right? So we create that workflow. Now, once we do that, we're going to set up a trigger. The trigger is going to be a form submission, right? So form submitted and it's going to be an affiliate form submitted. 
that's that's what it's going to be. You know, I, I named it. You can name whatever you can name it, whatever you want. But I'd like to stay organized. So I named it affiliate form submitted and you tell them what form it is. So you can say form is it could be affiliate sign up. It could be challenge. It could be whatever. Right. So it's going to be from your affiliate sign ups. And then from there, uh, you'll put like which affiliate program. Right. You'll put select the drop down. You'll look for affiliate programs. If that's what you name your custom custom values and then you find a appropriate affiliate program. So for this instance, it would be challenge template. So I would get rid of that. And I'll put challenge template, say that trigger. So once somebody fills out for the challenge template, because they might not become an affiliate for all your products. Right. So if it's just for one thing, they only need to get an email for that one thing. And then you're going to add a tag. Right. You're going to add a tag of that specific um, affiliate program that they join. And then you want to add uh, um, add to affiliate campaign. Right. So you want to add that affiliate to whatever campaign they're um, choosing. Right. I only have two campaigns right now. So this would be challenge snapshot. And then you want to update affiliate status. So mark affiliate is active. That's something extra that I do. You don't have to do it. Um, it's just something extra. And when you add them to that campaign, they're automatically they're going to receive that email that we created earlier. And you hit publish save it and then you guys are all set you pretty much created every you guys are all set you pretty much created everything you need for a successful affiliate campaign i just walked you through it step by step now all you have to do is go actually implement so information on me execution on you and i can't wait to see what you guys create make sure you comment below this video and give me a thumbs up if this video was good if it helped you at all and I'm J.O. the Genius. I love you guys. For the action takers, I will see you at the top.